2008 BMW M3. It's got to fix this dent right here. It's about five inches long. Pretty good sized dent. And it's just so sharp. Look at that. But the paint's not broken. It's just got this deep line in it. And um, it's never easy to do those. So I just took the glass out. Now this is what I like. I like really good access. So my dent, I can even touch the back of it. It's just below the framing here. Some of it's in the framing, some of it's not, but I'm not worried about it because I got such good access. So I'm gonna start this one right now, get it done as quick as I can, because it's Friday and I wanna get out of here. All right, there you go. Let's check it out when it's all done. Let's look at it like this. And now it's hit up to these lines. Fixing uh, this M3 and I took the glass out. Quick tip on the M3. You don't have to remove this rail, which normally you do, but uh, on this vehicle, this side, once you unhook it a little bit and just kind of move it over, you can slide the glass straight up and not have to remove much, but just unclip it from the bottom. See, so this had a clip. You just had to unclip, slide it out. So tint you can easily scratch because it's on the inside. So you always want to put some tape on the inner edge of the frame just in case. But overall, pretty easy job. Just pull the glass out. Time to get this dent out. Let's take a look at this crease. You know, if you're studying paintless dent repair and you're about to pay a lot of money to an instructor, make sure they show you their work in dark colors. You know, there's a lot of instructors showing their work in white and it can hide quite a bit. When you're spending a lot of money with somebody, you wanna make sure they show you what they can do because they're trying to teach you what, what you're gonna encounter out there, but you wanna see them do the same. So here I'm showing you real detail on a dark color. And if you're interested in paintless dent repair, always require that from your instructors or anybody you're about who's about to teach you PDR because you want to learn from somebody who's actually able to do it in the field every week or so. Now my approach with dents like this is literally to walk them back out in the same direction they are and I call that wide directional pushing. What I developed was a way of getting behind it with the same shape. In this case it's going to be my dent dial recreaser tip. I call it the recreaser tip because it's great for walking a crease right back out nice and smooth. You could do this with any flat bar. You can make the tip if you want, but that's the shape. That's what I find successful in getting dents like this out. It's getting there. Pretty deep. Take a quick closer look at this job I did on this M3. I want you to really see this line because this was such a nightmare uh, dent, but it had such great access. I was really able to get inside that line and detail it. Came out really good. Didn't sand, uh, didn't color sand it. I don't do that. I feel it's not necessary much of the time just to not mess with the customer's factory coat, clear coat. And you can see it right there, just above my license plate. Overall, that's it. Slight wave. All right, there you go. Thanks for watching. This is Sal from Dent Experts, the YouTube channel.